The executive director, Glisten International Academy, has called on the federal government to focus more on modern technology to boost the education sector in the face of insecurity. The director was speaking in Abuja on the sidelines of the graduation ceremony, prize and award presentation of the school with the theme, Exponential Visibility, Breaking the Glass Ceiling. For those that are fortunate and quite uh, uh, rich, uh, their kids can afford to go to anywhere and school, but here, why can't we have education? And education should not just stay just okay whether, whether school is open or not. We can go online. We should find time. Our government should make it a policy that let's do a online schools, let's have hybrid schools. It's high time that we all wake up. Whether there is ASU or there is strike, there should be people that are willing to sacrifice. There are people that are willing to volunteer, you know, to give the right education to people. It's just high time we focus our mind to know, redirect ourselves to know that, okay, we can't just rest. We can still learn, uh, especially with internet, you know, but we can standardize all these things. If the government can focus, you know, and have something that, uh, that standardize, people can follow a particular curriculum online without having to be tutor, getting tutored, and they can answer, they can do tests or uh, examinations on their own. Also, the chief care professional of the school, who said that the school graduated 83 pupils, both in the early years and basic class, advised them to remain focused and determined to achieve their goals. The security situation in Nigeria is really sad because I remember in our days we had peace all around and um, it does have an effect actually upon our educational system that is socially. Although now technology has made it a bit easy that people can even learn from home anywhere they are. We have students from um, during the COVID about six countries that were learning online and so in Gleason we don't really have a problem but socially the children need to interact with one another and so they are being uh, denied this opportunity and you know we learn from each other no one is a custodian of knowledge so that aspect of the life is taken away from our children when then do they become youths when, when are they allowed to live their life full as children to become adults. So it's really sad that our country is going through this phase and I do hope that the government will be able to provide a solution to actually address the security issues in order to bring the children back to the four walls of the classroom. Some of the pupils who also spoke to the news agency of Nigeria were filled with joy as they celebrate their last day in the school with other friends. I've experienced a lot of difficulties as it by a past them even though I intend to achieve all my grades and A and I intend to never get a B. It has been very good. It was full with enjoyment, learning and I made so many friends throughout the years. Um, I want to be something greater in the future so I can make my parents proud. Highlights of the ceremony was the award presentation to outstanding performances for the academic year and also a dinner for the JSS3 students of the school. In the words of Nora Etro, your education is a dress rehearsal for a life that is yours to live. Thank you all.